Hey guys, welcome back and happy Independence Day to those of you who are in the United States. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Um, so Mannix and I are here to do the reading for Divine Soulmate Connections where there is a karmic situation involved on the masculine side. Of course it doesn't have to be just on the masculine side, it could also be that the feminine is involved in a karmic relationship or situation. Like it could even just be um, work for example, right, for, for the feminines. It doesn't have to be a relationship, same thing for the masculine. So just take the messages as they resonate for you. Um, yeah, and I just want to say real quick, I do have my other cat, Oliver, in the clinic. He's sick. They still don't know what's wrong with him. So please, if you guys can send prayers to my little Oliver, I would be so grateful. Um, so yeah, I am going to try to keep this one short today just because I have to get to the clinic, actually, um, for Oliver. So yeah, we're going to be looking at the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation. I will be doing the reading as if it is a relationship, but as I said, just take the messages as they resonate if it's a situation like work, for example, rather than a relationship. We will also look at the masculine's energy towards their feminine and then maybe a quick look at what's going on with the feminines as well as what is coming up in the near future. Do keep in mind that this reading is general, so it can't resonate for everyone. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And yeah, please note that personal readings are not free. <laughs> okay, I'm saying that because some of you send me emails requesting a reading and you give me all the information that I ask for, um, and then, but you don't send the payment. So I don't know if it's not clear in the description, but they can't be free. Like that would just be crazy. Um, everybody would then be asking for a reading and I'd be spending like 10 hours a day just doing personal readings for free. Um, so yeah, all right, let's get into it. Let's see what is going on with the masculines currently. All right, we have rest and rejuvenation. So this is kind of like, um, this is like the Four of Swords in Tarot, but let me just get a few more and put this all together and then we'll get into the Tarot. So there's definitely some healing that is going on. There's something, something really deep here. I don't know how conscious they are of this. Let's see. All right, and we have two here. We have purity and acceptance. All right. Just a few more and I will explain. Okay, so just a few more oracle cards, please, for the masculines. self-worth, regret, and metamorphosis. All right, okay. So here's the message here. And I feel like this is very similar to something that I said recently in one of the recent readings. Um, the masculine is really coming to terms with what the situation is, like not trying to deny it anymore, right? That's why we have this rest and rejuvenation. It's like this, and, and the purity and the acceptance. It's like this huge acceptance that this situation that they find themselves in is not going to change. It's not going to be anything different than what it is, accepting it for what it is, and then having, obviously, to change something, right? Metamorphosis. Um, there is regret. There is regret for possibly having stayed in this situation for as long as they have, or for certain decisions that were made in the past. However, what I do like is that we have self-worth because this also means that they're not allowing their regret and what decisions they have already made to affect the, the future, their future decisions. Because I feel like they had been in a stage like that um, up until recently where it was kind of like, well, now I made my bed, I might as well you know, sleep in it. There's nothing I can do about it. Whereas, and that's why they tried to change the situation or they tried to somehow make it fit into their lives. And it's like now they're just accepting that it is what it is. I don't like it. Um, it's not going to change. I have to accept this. But they're finding that sense of self-worth even though 
they feel regret. So for some of them, this could even be related to guilt that they may have felt um, in the past, whereas now it's like they are coming out of that. They are um, overcoming the sense of guilt and putting their own self first. And that's why I love that we have the last card out is metamorphosis, knowing that they need to change that. They need to change what it is that they have done that has led to the regret change is possible so meaning <laughs> I mean they can't change the situation that they're in but they can change what they do right in terms of moving away from it or just creating a different life for themselves um, but there's no more trying to change that situation and staying in it it's not going to be different so let's get into the tarot let's see so we're going to start by looking at their energy more specifically towards their karmic relationship or situation and when when we say karmic we mean you know someone that they are if we're talking about a person it's someone that they are with where there are karmic lessons so there is a reason there is a purpose that they are with this person it's nothing bad okay this is what they are meant to be doing they are meant to be in this relationship and there's karma that needs to be resolved or balanced out or lessons that need to be learned okay that is what we mean by that okay so masculine energy <clears throat> towards their karmic relationship or situation and it also oftentimes serves as a barrier to their divine soulmate right Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Empress. Okay, so I feel like for most of you watching this video, although it, it doesn't have to be, but I feel like for most of you watching, um, you're dealing with a masculine who is in a very committed relationship. Um, so it could be a marriage or it's just, it's not, it's not a fling in other words. Okay. If it is, um, <clears throat> then it could be that the, the masculine in the, that situation is viewing this or has been viewing this connection as something that could be long-term, or at least that's, you know, how they planned for it. So Whatever the case though, they're being defensive right now. Like they're holding back. They're standing up for, for their own self. So I don't mean the defensiveness in the negative way. I'm actually getting a positive vibe um, with this because we also have the Empress following. So for some of them, this could even be more, more specific. If your situation is that um, the karmic partner knows about you, knows about the feminine, the masculine is standing up for you in some way like there could be um i don't know some kind of discussions where maybe you know there are some not so nice words um about the feminine and i feel like the masculine is standing up for you for others of you if that's not the case it's again it's more energetic um it's the masculine feeling like they need to protect the feminine in some way like you're there it's like they're standing up for for themselves or for what they believe in in some way because in the back of their minds they're thinking about you and they're thinking about who it is that they really want to be with in that long-term relationship so I see them kind of like blocking out or actually like um, blocking out the the long-term idea of the connection that they are in right now with the karmic so that could be manifesting in different ways I gave one example of them standing up for the um, feminine and it could even it could manifest in, in a whole bunch of different ways like just not allowing things to happen that would like um, what's the word tie them up more with the karmic like they're it's like they're trying to block out the long-termness of this so it could just be things that they are saying you know trying to give little hints that you know no this isn't gonna last forever for example it could be anything <clears throat> or maybe just not signing certain contracts that you know they had decided that they would sign could be anything 
And behind all of this is because the feminine is on their minds. So let's see what's going on in their headspace concerning this situation. The Nine of Cups in reverse, Justice in reverse, and Judgment. Okay, wow. Yeah, again, I feel like it's very similar to the Oracle cards that we got in the beginning. Um, where it's like, you know, they're realizing they have this acceptance that this connection is never going to be what they want. It, it's not fulfilling. It's not their dream. It's not making them happy. There is, again, th this regret for a decision is showing up again with justice here being in reverse. Um, not only that, and it's a huge realization, by the way, with judgment following that, but not only that, um, they feel like they, they know on a conscience level that the situation as it is right now, it is not just. It is not where it's supposed to be. It feels off. It's not right. Um, for some of them, they're even feeling like either like they're being treated unfairly, but it's not really that. I feel like that's more of like, um, you know, just a, a, like a pseudo feeling that they're not being treated fairly. It's not that. It's because they are where they don't want to be. It's not... It's not the karmic's fault, in other words. Um, but I feel like they might be um, kind of not lashing out, but almost like placing some blame um, on the karmic for little things. But deep down, they know. They know that it's really, you know, it, it's their decision. They're the ones who have chosen to stay, to stay there. So let's see what's going on emotionally. Page of Wands in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, and the Six of Wands. There's some ego here. What's going on? There's a sense of, um, for some of them, they're dealing right now with the sense of, okay, you know, possibly having failed at what it was that they had started out doing in this connection. So there is a little bit of that feeling of a failure that they were not able to, yeah, achieve what they had wanted. So for some of them who were making an effort um, to make it work, and then, you know, like I said, acceptance that it's just not. So it's like their ego is hurt a little bit for whatever reason here. Um, let me clarify. Let's clarify a little bit before we move on. I'm also getting with that top row. Hold on, let me just clarify first. Let's see, top row. The sun and the nine of swords. Okay, for a specific group of you, this could definitely be representing children with the sun where they are um, feeling a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety concerning the children and that has to do with the responsibility, the sense of responsibility that they feel in this connection. But um, I'm mostly getting the message here that it's like they're they're slowly trying to pull back from um, certain responsibilities in order to really embody this idea that, okay, you know, I'm not going to be here forever. And it feels like they're also trying to pass on that message to the karmic partner or to the situation, whatever it is. Okay, if it's work, you know, then it would be to their colleagues or, you know, to their supervisor or whatever. Um, yeah, it definitely feels like they're trying to pass on that message. Like, like not just not taking on certain responsibilities, not doing anything extra that they would in this particular role that they have. And just pulling back from that and that does stress them out at the same time they feel like they're like this happiness that you know they thought that they would have it's just not it's not there and, and that that creates pain the fact that they feel like they can't just 
um, live in this and just things be fine and everything just, you know, be dandy. And yeah. So let's see the second row. Um, I especially want to see this justice in reverse. So justice in reverse. <laughs> the five of swords. Yeah, see, and this is their headspace. So they're very, very much aware of the fact that this, the decisions that they have made up until this point have been deceptive, not only to their feminine, but to their own self. But again, that's okay. It's part of their lesson. It's part of what they are meant to learn. That's how they will become wiser. That is how they will grow and become more mature and more emotionally stable. It's by learning these lessons. Um, if, again, I'm getting a very specific message that's only going to be for a specific group of you where <clears throat> something is happening where they feel like they're not being treated fairly. And again, I just really want to stress this. It does not mean that it is the karmic's fault, okay? That's the role that they are meant to play, whatever it is that's happening, whatever it is that they are doing. And part of the masculine's lesson is to actually not allow that to happen, to do something about it. If you don't like it, if you're not being treated in the way that you feel you should be treated, do something about it. And that's the realization that they're having. And again, it doesn't mean that it is the karmic's fault. It could just be something, it, it could just be that they're not compatible, that the masculine, um, you know, just the way that this person is, that they are with, is not what fulfills them. It doesn't mean that the other person is doing something bad necessarily. It just doesn't fulfill them. So that's their challenge. Okay, you don't like it? Do something about it. I actually want to see judgment as well. Let's see. <clears throat> Judgment. Ooh, and we have the Empress again. I love that we have the Empress above judgment and then we have the Empress clarifying judgment. So yeah, this is clearly that this realization, it's also with the Divine Feminine involved in their minds. Um, almost like using that, not as a comparison, but you're there and they, they can feel that difference. They can feel the connection with you. And there's something about your energy at the moment that is helping them to have these realizations. That number one, um, they're not happy where they are. Number two, it's not going to change. And number three, it's because of their own decision and their own behaviors and that this is deceptive to their own self, first and foremost. So something about the feminine's energy right now, it could be that you are detaching. It could be that, you know, you have worked on your own sense of self-worth, whatever, whatever it is from your energy. Um, it is affecting them in a very positive way. So let's just see this bottom row and then we'll move on to the masculine's energy towards you. Let's see. Three of Swords in reverse. Let me get one more. And the Seven of Wands in reverse. Second time we're getting the Seven of Wands. So they're not, they're not feeling um, heartbreak or pain for this person at all on an emotional level. If anything, they're feeling a lack of passion, a lack of motivation. Um, and it, it's like it's not hurting them at all. I feel like for a lot of them, they've already gone through whatever pain um, for this connection, you know, they were meant to go through. There might be, I'm not saying there's not any pain at all or that there won't be pain in the future if they are to leave this connection, but it's not the type of pain that we associate with heartbreak. Okay, it's a different kind of pain um, if they go through that. It's going to be more of like on an individual level concerning their own selves or maybe concerning family, um, identity, those kinds of things, but not heartbreak for this person at all.
And I do see them being like just more, uh, again, I feel like the seven of wands in reverse. It's, it's showing the acceptance that this is how I feel and that's not going to change. Like being open to that, not being in denial of how they feel anymore at least. But it, like I said before, it, it's like it, it somehow does affect their ego. It's like their ego does get in the way a little bit. But for the most part, they're accepting of how they feel and that this connection is not their Nine of Cups. Okay, so let's see what their energy is currently towards their feminine. Seven of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Ooh, okay. So it's feeling a little bit more positive, I think, than last time. I don't really remember, actually, what, what it was last time, but I feel like there was something that was a little bit weird. Um, <clears throat> If they have walked away from you or if they have ghosted you or um, just kind of been avoidant or whatever, I feel like they're wanting to come back or they're wanting to come out of that. Um, they're definitely feeling this Ace of Wands, like this passion and this wanting to reconnect, wanting to come back from having walked away. And what I'm seeing is that <clears throat> they're feeling less stressed about doing that. Um, so it could have been that for some of you, you know, maybe they have been in this kind of an energy for a while, but it, the idea stressed them out. I see them not being as stressed about the idea of the two of you reconnecting or being together in the future. And I feel like that's probably because <laughs> they've had this realization that the situation that they're in is just not going to change. And as I said before, like really feeling your energy. So let's see what's going on in their headspace. Okay, Six of Wands in reverse, <clears throat> the Knight of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Okay, so even though they're less stressed about the two of you possibly being together um, in the future and wanting to reconnect and they're feeling better just about coming back because I feel like they were really embarrassed to do so in, in the past. They felt like it would be something impossible. Yeah, that's what I think we were getting in the last reading. Like to them, it just felt like this impossible thing. So right now they're feeling like, no, it is possible, but, <laughs> but they're taking their sweet little time because yeah, it's like they want to do it in the right way and they're still feeling, um, like their ego is there. Like I said before, it's, um, so they're not as embarrassed. They're less stressed about it, but there is still a bit of ego, um, about it. And of course, you know, if they're not completely done with the other situation, yeah, they're not going to be able to come forward in the best way possible. But for some of you, I'm seeing that there might be, if, if this hasn't happened already, um, some kind of a reconnecting, some kind of contact if you were in no contact. For some of them, it might even be impulsive. So this might be something that has already happened recently or something that is coming up, okay? Because time is relative and it can't just be the exact same for everybody. They are taking a little bit of time though. Um, and I feel like they're, even if they do reach out or in whatever way they communicate with you, I feel like it is going to be a little bit minimal or um, kind of quiet with this hermit. Let's see emotionally. Okay, so emotionally they're not feeling very well right now. Um, they do still have this idea that you, that you might be over them or that you may have moved on and that they might have lost this opportunity. We have the Three of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Four of Cups. So yeah, they don't really know what's going on. They're not sure if you um, might have had other options and that you may have already moved on and just 
gotten over them and I feel like if if you have felt like you have been detaching even if you're not a hundred percent detached okay which you're probably not and that's fine um, <clears throat> but even if there's a little bit of detachment even if there's just a little bit of that being more independent and feeling good about yourself and about the situation they're picking up on that and you know they're it's like energetically they're interpreting that as you possibly um, being over them and not really wanting this as much and that's not a bad thing that's not a bad thing that's something that there's a reason for that as well they need to um, to feel that they it's okay for them to interpret it in that way otherwise it's like it would be too easy like you know feminine is just sitting there like a doormat right um, okay let's clarify these a little bit So let's see that top row. Just one. And we have the seven of cups again. So it's actually like, okay, cause I don't, I don't support playing games or, you know, anything like that. Um, but it's kind of like, this, this them not knowing what you might be up to and the fact that you do have other options and the fact that, you know, you um, might be doing other things or that you might be keeping yourself busy, that actually pushes them towards you. So it's not about playing mind games or anything. It's not that you're that I would ever encourage you to do that as a means to an end to get the masculine to come back that would never work anyway all right but if you truly are just open to any potential and just allowing things to come in even if they don't but just the mere fact of you being open energetically that actually um, transfers over to the masculine and that means that you are learning part of your lesson, which in turn energetically helps them as well. And that is why they're feeling less stressed about coming back or coming towards you. It's like they're feeling that, that magnetism, that ace of wands, that pull towards you, that passion. For a lot of them, that's even sexual energy. All right, let's see this second row. Ooh, the moon in reverse. Okay, so it's like with this, okay, Knight of Pentacles, the Hermit, moon in reverse. I feel like they have like, it's like they're coming up with some kind of a plan in their minds, but they're keeping it a little bit hidden right now. It's not out in the open. It, if they do contact you, it's not something that they're going to tell you, even if that plan has to do with the karmic or whatever. They're not telling you. Um, but there is something here that they are thinking. There is something here that they are trying to strategize or um, plan. And I do feel, again, like the reason why they're not going to tell you this is because of ego. Possibly because... I mean, maybe for some of you, you know, this may have happened in the past and then, you know, it, it, they didn't um, keep their word. And so, you know, they're just trying to play it safe and not say anything too soon. And again, because I do feel like a lot of it is still in their minds, they are beginning to play it out, but it's, it's, it's a little gradual. So they're not going to be open about it. All right, let's see this last row. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're not detached from you. Um, they are afraid of you being this Nine of Pentacles and being completely independent and detached from them. But again, like I said, it's only serving to help them, actually. It's only serving to help them, and it helps them to realize that they're not detached from you they're not over you they still they want this connection with you 
Okay, so let's just get, I'm not going to get too many cards for the feminines. I just want to get a couple. Um, I feel like we did get a lot of messages come through for the feminines in the past couple of readings that I've done. So if you haven't checked those out and you want more um, insight into what might be going on with the feminines, you can check those out. So let's just get a couple. Ooh, okay, we have contract. Okay, so contract, lessons, vibrations, and deception. All right, feminines, you're learning a lot of lessons here. Um, and I feel like what you're doing is you're resolving your own karma and balancing out karma, possibly with other people, um, not only your masculine. And even if you're not in contact with your masculine, this is still happening. It's, it's still playing out on an energetic level. And this is especially the case because of vibrations, all right? That's why I'm saying that. Um, and I feel like this deception is the deception that you feel from your masculine and the way that you are able to now handle that, um, you know, like getting rid of resentment, not feeling that resentment anymore, understanding the situation on a deeper level and being able to really grasp the deeper lessons behind everything that is going on. So the way that this would manifest is, you know, maybe certain things are happening with the masculine that you find out about or maybe in your interactions if you're in contact and the triggers do not affect you in the same way as before because you are growing and because you are learning your lessons and because you are balancing out your, your own karma. So I feel like, yes, and through this deception and if you're going through some kind of a deception right now, whether it be with the masculine or other people in your in your lives, um, there's a reason for it, all right? There's a soul contract behind that, and it is meant for you to learn certain lessons. So just be open to that, you know? Try to look deeper. Don't hold on to resentment. Um, you know, don't stay stuck in, in, like, negativity towards whoever is deceiving you. Try to find what is meant for you to learn through this. Like, how is it helping you to understand something about your own self? And I feel like that's just really gonna help to push you forward and then in turn, again, as I said, you know, like the masculine, the feminine, um, they affect each other. So in turn, it will also help to push the masculine forward. Okay, so let's, I'm just gonna leave it at that for the feminines. Um, let's see what might be coming up in the next week or so for the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups in reverse, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Look at that. I'm telling you, see, there's that plan, the plan that I was talking about before. Um, some kind of a strategy or, you know, some kind of movement that might be a little bit slow, but it's very, very stable. It's like very secure. I feel like it's locked um, for this group of masculines where they're moving towards, okay, you know what? There is no reconciling with this, with this person here, with the karmic partner. Um, breaking free, um, finding the solutions, finding out that they are not stuck. They are the ones who are keeping themselves stuck. They are not stuck. And there are viable solutions to breaking away from this and to moving away from a connection that is not a deep deeper soul connection not the one that they have a contract with to be with after a certain point and after the lessons are learned so this is actually really really positive like really breaking free untying those ropes that have been keeping their hands tied. All right, let's see their energy coming up for their feminines. Oh, 
Ooh, okay. It's not too positive. Let me just like say that right off the bat, but that's okay. Um, the Hierophant in reverse, Temperance in reverse, and the Two of Swords. They are going to be confronted with some kind of a dilemma here. Um, yeah, it's a little bit vague. I'm not really sure exactly what this is about. Um, I feel like we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but they're going to be faced with some kind of a dilemma here. Not, they're not going to be sure what to do. And I do get the sense that there's going to be some impatience though around it. Um, it's like they're going to be given this opportunity for something here with their feminine um, that you may or may not be aware about because I'm not sure if this is something that you're going to do and they're going to have that opportunity. In that case, you might be aware of it. I don't know if it's something else that happens in their life um, that it's like it's giving them that opportunity and I feel like it's just really going to make them question and think, but it's also making them feel this impatience to make a decision. And I feel like they're going to be feeling a little bit uncomfortable because of that, feeling like either time is running out or, um, again, almost like feeling like they may lose this opportunity. Um, that what if, you know, you end up being in another connection or what if you just move on from them, even if there is no other connection? So I feel like that is going to start um, pressing them a little bit, that idea. And again, that is coming from the fact that the feminine, in this group at least, is just open overall to other things, not necessarily other relationships, although of course it could be, but just other things. Like you're not constantly thinking about your masculine 24-7. You're doing other things. So... Yeah, that is going to be a little bit pressing to them. Okay. Which I feel ultimately, you know, is going to serve a positive purpose for them. To get them to move in a positive direction towards you. Okay, so let's get final oracle cards to close this out. Okay. And this was actually longer than I thought. Wow. <laughs> nice how I wanted to keep it short so I can get to Oliver. All right. Um, so we have Orphan and Regeneration. So this is what the masculine is feeling. They're feeling lonely. They're feeling like they are orphaned without their feminine. Um, I feel like it's going to get to this point where they do feel a little bit abandoned so to speak, maybe not exactly abandoned, but something along those lines, just feeling that sense of loneliness, that you're not there just sitting there waiting for them like a doormat. Um, and that is what creates the change. I feel like it's the same message that it's like a theme throughout this reading. That is what creates the change. That is what is going to push them um, to have a regeneration, to, have, to do that metamorphosis. And to recreate, to destroy, you know, what doesn't work and then rebuild from the beginning. So keep doing you, feminines. Keep being open. Um, if you don't feel like that's like the feminine side resonated with you, take it as encouragement, you know, to just be open to other things. Um, you know, work through your feelings. I'm not saying to repress your feelings for your masculine. Definitely work through them. Definitely allow yourself to feel them. But at the same time, keep in mind or just, you know, keep it in the back of your mind that, okay, at some point, you know, I'm going to be open to other things and, and occupy myself with other things more so than before. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like if this resonated with you or if you like this. And I will talk to you guys really soon. Much love.